If you could automate a workflow, your life would be simpler and you would be more productive. A workflow is a multi-step process. It's something repeatable, arduous, and manual. An example might be you're adding somebody new to your team. In Slack, you want them to be in the right channels, and you want to introduce them to the right people. You need the IT team to actually get them the right equipment. And you need the HR team to make sure that they provide them with the benefits documentation that they need to get started. You could build that today using our platform APIs. You could find a developer and build a custom app that builds that inside of Slack. But you need a developer. When I started at Slack, the top request I got from some of our largest customers was to make it easy for anyone to build basic workflows in Slack. So today, I am really excited to show you what we've been doing. Workflow Builder is a visual tool that allows anyone to make it easier to share information and automate routine tasks. Anyone can use the Workflow Builder. People in HR, marketing, sales, anybody. The Workflow Builder enables those who don't code to build simple but powerful apps inside of Slack. To show you a bit of what we've been up to, please welcome me and join, <laughs> please join me in welcoming Dio and Karishma to the stage to show you how easily you could build a workflow app. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. Hi, everyone. Pleasure to be here. My name is Karishma, and I head up Slack's New York-based solutions engineering group. Today, I'm so delighted to be able to show you how you can easily create repeatable workflows right in Slack and turn them into apps. Now, to best illustrate this point, what I'd actually like to do is, is go back to that example Brian mentioned, onboarding employees. It's a journey I'm sure many of you in the audience here have exposure to. And the funny thing about onboarding is a task as simple as getting your new hires access to their benefits booklets can actually require a ton of internal coordination and process. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we might be able to automate that using the Workflow Builder. So what I'm going to go ahead and start by doing is popping open the Workflow interface. And here's where I can see a view of all of the workflows I've already created, as well as this Get Help Benefits one. More on that later. But for now, let's go ahead and just create a new one. Now, in creating a new workflow, the first thing I need to think about is, what do I want to have as my trigger or action that sets up the rest of my workflow? In this case, we actually have a welcome channel that we already bring new hires into. So I'm going to go ahead and have the act of a new person joining that channel as my trigger. Now it's time to determine what are the steps or what's the process that I'm trying to automate. I have a couple of options here. But in this example, all I'm trying to do is take that manual process of giving each new hire their benefits booklet individually and turn that into an automatic solution. So I'm going to go ahead and choose and craft my message. And what you see here is some text. All I'm doing is that providing them a link to the latest version of the benefits, as well as pointing them in the direction of a channel they can go to if they want to talk to our HR team for more help. Once this looks good, I can go ahead and preview it down at the bottom here and click to save. Pretty simple. We just created our first workflow together. Now, once I'm happy with it, all that's left to do to put this out in the wild is rename it. So I'm going to call this the Benefits Distribution Workflow. Click to save. And the last step I need to have is actually to publish this to the New Hire Guide app. There we go. My workflow has been published. <laughs> Zero lines of code involved in doing that. Um, and I think you know, workflows can be as simple as the one as you just saw here, or more complex with multiple steps and forms. I'm sure you must be wondering, what does this actually look like for a new hire who's joining the company and being brought into that welcome channel? To best illustrate this, what I'm actually going to do is bring my colleague, Dio, into that channel and on stage to show you the end user experience. Dio? Thanks, Karishma. Hi. I'm Diogenes Brito, one of the two designers on the Workflow Builder team. And I'm going to walk you through the experience of a new hire using some of these freshly created workflows. 
So as Karishma mentioned, I've been brought into the welcome channel, and I can see that I have a message from an app called New Hire Guide. So let's check it out. Great. It looks like I have instant access to the benefits booklet. And there's an instruction there to join the help benefits channel if I have any more questions. I think I might need some more assistance, so I'll join that channel. When I joined the channel, it looks like I triggered a new workflow, a different one asking me to fill out a form in order to get help here. So I'll click the button. As a new hire, I'm looking to set up time with a consultant to walk me through my benefits. So I'll select the new hire benefits overview. The default urgency looks good. And click Submit. Easy. It looks like a person named Alexandra French from the benefits team is going to reach out in the next 72 hours. And there are some further instructions there for how to continue along my new employee journey. Brian, that was super simple. That was. So think about this. Building the app that Krishma built up front classically would have taken getting a developer and carving out some of their time. They go through about a dozen steps or two. Maybe that happens in a few hours, a few days, or a few weeks. In less than two minutes, Krishma built a custom app. Saves her the repetitive stress of doing the same thing over and over again. And saves Dio hunting and searching for information. and makes him more productive and gets him up to speed more quickly. Dio, if people wanted to get started, what should they do? Well, they should come to the Apps and Slack breakout session immediately following this keynote, or they should visit the platform booth to meet members of the development team and see what else is possible. And we're taking names for customers who want to join the Workflow Builder pilot program. So please visit slack.com slash workflow automation or swing by the booth. That's great. Thanks, Dio. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. To make getting started even easier, we're actually going to be launching a set of templates alongside the Workflow Builder, simple examples of small jobs that you might have inside your company that you might want to customize in order to get work done. This is a first step. We built this based on customer feedback. We'll continue to evolve it. One of the key things as we do that is also going to be opening up the Workflow Builder to our developer community, allowing them to allow customers to actually customize workflows coming from their apps. So if you think about a Workado, a Zapier, a Workday, a ServiceNow, the ability to take those tools and customize what happens inside of Slack is even more powerful.